I think, well, in Alethea, what I learned uh, is that when we don't address those needs or when we're not paying attention to those needs, um, there's that compensation that steps in. And the compensation often is that we will go uh, about a different way to uh, perhaps pacify that need rather than meet the need or identify what the need is seeking from us. Um, we may land in a behavior that is less than um, pleasant. And so we see a lot of people that would go to, you know, different things that fill our life, like substance abuse, or maybe it's becoming OCD about your cleaning or whatever it is, maybe shopping or um, just these other habits that often give us the high or um, they give us this false illusion that we're meeting the need that we have. Um, but essentially we're not meeting the need at its root. And so identifying the need and then being present with that need to identify where it's com it comes from. But also, what is the seeking? What is the reason that this is showing up in my life? Um, and in different seasons, different things will show up because we are always transitioning. And I think that's important to identify. You know, there's that verse that says that the sons of Korah knew the times. And so I think um, I often reflect on that because it's important for us to know our times. It's important for us to know what we often refer to as seasons, right? You're going through seasons, you're going through changes. Uh, you know, when you have small children, there's a that's a season and it only lasts for so long and then you've got all the children and, and that's a different season. And so it requires different things, different um, energy. Uh, it requires different um, operation from you in terms of how you do things and how you think about life and what is important and valued at that time. Um, so... I really appreciate that, you know, we have um, this value for for our needs. I think often we don't meet our needs um, in a healthy manner or really know how to meet our needs. I mean, we find people all the time that, you know, will say, oh, just, I just felt this thing and I just went with it and then, you know, it was, it was wrong and landed me here. And I think we don't really understand what the job of our needs or their role is in our life. And so we can often fill it quickly with something that's instant that relieves us of that pressure or that nagging that our mm. needs often bring um but then leaves us uh chasing the next tie and the next tie and it just gets a, a little more addictive each time and we have to go to a higher dose and so it becomes more destructive to our life and so i i tend to yeah ask the question of myself and especially as i'm going through the coaching course um really finding out what is it that are my needs at the moment, but, but what's yearning within me? What's that mm. call within me? Because, you know, sometimes we feel lonely or sometimes we may feel like we're, um, you know, like I'm in this season where I'm really feeling like I just need to make a difference and I just want something um, that gives back, right? Mm. I want to be doing something that gives back and honors other people and um, sees people out of their suffering. And I can't explain that sensation within me, but sitting with it and meditating or what it is that it's trying to get me to, um, I think has been really key for me in this season to you not know, brush it away, not, you know, go to the mall and satisfy my needs and be like, oh, I'm fine. It will go away, um, pacify that call, but just be present to Id identify and understand what's its greater purpose. Mm. Why is it that I, I you know, I um, have the desire to give back and to be of use to somebody else and to make a difference in someone else's life. Um, and I think essentially what that does is allows us to live a fulfilled life um, mm. because at different points in our life, our mission and our, um, you know, our call changes. It's going to look different um, as we give of ourselves and as we're intentional to utilize the time here on earth wisely to make the difference that we were called to make, um, you know, reach our destiny. And, and of course, that's part of your personal goals as well. It's not to neglect that you as a human being and individual have preferences and have goals and have things that you want to achieve in life. Uh, but I think ultimately it comes to giving back and being present or being able to, um, you know, bring a solution to someone else's life and bring a solution to someone else's problems um, that I think gives us the greatest satisfaction. So I tend to sit with, a lot of that emotion now and just question it and really get curious about what it is that um, it's helping me to do or to draw towards. Mm. 